Hey everyone, it's Michael Benitez, back for another video. Today, we're going to be doing another uh, video about a ship, but we're going to do a video about a shipping disaster. This shipping disaster involved two ships, and it was a collision incident. We will talk about, we will, we will talk about the July 4th, 1898 disaster of the SS La Borgania. I think that's how you pronounce it. So let's begin the story of this almost forgotten tragedy. La Bourgogne, as you can tell, it was a French ocean liner. She was built in, in 1885 for the French line. She, uh, she was 494.4 uh, feet long and, w and had a top speed of 17 knots. She had, a con she had uh, enough room for 391st class passengers, 65 second class passengers, and 600 pa 603rd class passengers. She uh, she also made a record herself. A year after her main voyage in 1886, she set a new re uh, new record for the fastest Atlantic crossing by a postal steamer. So the fact that she was a postal steamer that meant she carried mail. July seventh, 1898, the SS La Bourgogne set sails from New from New York. To inbound to La Havre, France. She is carrying 725 people, uh, passengers and crew, and 100 tons of cargo valued at $400,000 and 170 bags of mail. Do you remember what I said about her being a coastal steamer? Now her engines were new. Now she had some new engines, and also she had uh, she was only for she was only um powered by one propeller, which caused which her kind of caused caused her a slow speed. But she had double decks and consisted of main of a main deck with a pro with a saloon and promenade de uh, deck. However, this voyage, uh, this voyage after only four years of service, this voyage would be the last of the La Bourgogne. Meanwhile, sailing for uh, sailing from Dunkirk from Dunkirk uh, uh, on June eighth, a few like several days before the uh, before the La Bourgogne set sailed, the British ship to uh, Cromartyshire Cro Cro uh, Cromartyshire. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Is set sailing from Dunkirk to for Philadelphia. The, she is a 248 foot schooner and is and was carrying some valuable cargo aboard however she would uh, she would almost meet a tragic end uh, she would almost be the uh, she would be the exact reason for the sinking of the, the la borgania July third so, uh, went by pretty swiftly uh, for those aboard the uh, for of uh, those aboard the la borgania however on July four, on the early morning of July fourth, everything changed. On the early mor morning of July fourth, while it was still nighttime, fog rolled in, and the and the La Borgogne and the La Borgogne was quickly engul uh, engulfed in the fog, and her speed was forced to slow down. Meanwhile, the crow, the crow Marty Shire is, is cruising along pa uh, near Sable Island off Nova Scotia. She is blowing her foghorn every one minute, so because she, like the Lo uh, like the La Borgogna, have also hit fog. Just before five a.m., the uh, the captain uh, Oscar Henderson, captain of the Crow Marty Shire, hears a whistle from another ship. But she, but he does not have time to to find out its direction of what ha what would happen next. Suddenly, a ship looms looms out in the dark in the darkness. It, it is the La Borgogne. She is sailing at full speed. On five a.m. on July fourth, eighteen ninety eight, the unthinkable happens. The La Borgogne and the Crow Martyshire collide. The collision tore a deep hole into into the La Borgogne midships, and the entire bow and the bow section of the uh, of the Cromartyshire is torn away. Then the two ships drift away from each other in the foggy night, but the La Borgogne is sinking fast. Many passengers are killed in their sleep when when the collision happened, but there is worse to come. 
La Borgogna lists sharply the starboard, causing many of the port lifeboats to uh, to be unusable. Then she ca uh, then she started. Then there was an immediate rush for the lifeboats. Many passengers did say that there that there was an undisciplined uh, undisciplined orderly of the sink uh, of the sinking, and that many of the pa many of the officers and sailors were basically throwing or uh, or brutally uh, hold uh, possessing the lifeboats over the passengers. Now this was against the law of any ocean liner, French or no, or or of or, or a different country. Meanwhile, for in, in good of distress, the captain, the captain of the La, of the La Borgogna, Captain Delancey, uh, orders the, the rockets, distress rockets, to be fired, and the ship's fall and the ship's horn to be sound out. There is no reply. Half an hour after the collision, at five thirty a.m. on July fourth, eighteen ninety eight, the La Borgogna disappears beneath the waves. She leaves behind a terrible sight. Meanwhile, on the uh, on the Cromarty Shire, the the, uh, the captain did see fog, did see did hear a horn and did see rockets. But he thought that it was a it was a a call to it was a call to rescue the Cromarty Shire. Uh, Shire. But then at five thirty a.m., everything went silent. As the fog lifts, the Cormarty Shire's men start to uh, start to see two lifeboats coming towards them. As the fog lifts, uh, as the fog lifts, there is a horrible sight for, of the crew of the Cormarty Shire. The La Borgogna sank within an, uh, within half an hour. Only one woman, uh, only one uh, woman survived the tragedy, and all children perished in the disaster. All four first-class passengers died, and most of the survivors were basically sailors or third-class passengers. It's kind of strange, seeing how there were only third-class passengers and sailors that survived the sinking, but no first-class or second-class passengers. But that, uh, uh, but due to the uh, but because uh, but only but not because of the entire incident of the uh, uh, passengers being brutally uh, brutally taken out of the light boats for the crew. All officers, including the captain, except the purser, stayed at their posts until the very end. All the officers, except the purser, did not survive the sinking. In all, 562 men, women, and all children died in the disaster of the La Borgogna. The Coral Mortar was able to rescue all passengers from the La Borgogna after the sinking. There were 163 survivors. None were children. And there was only one female survivor. Hours after the sinking, the steamer Gretchen arrives out on the scene. She uh, she agrees to take passengers from she agrees to take the survivors from the uh, from the Coromorty Shire, and she also agrees to put, to tow the uh, to Coromorty Shire to Halifax, Nova Scotia. After the sinking, Everyone be everyone began to put fingers out on the Cromarty Shire, uh, even though the even the, and I uh, and even though I think this was an accident that the Cromarty Shire's captain thought that the stress rockets and, and signals from the from the La Borgogna were to, were to assist the Cromarty Shire, but in fact the the La Borgogna was actually calling for assistance. The it was it was only after the sinking that the Cromarty Shire really knew uh, the Cromarty Shire's uh, crew really knew that the other ship. The French liner La Borgogna had sank, and the and there was even controversy about the entire thing of the pass uh, of the. Uh, there were there were very uh, there were lots of witnesses saying that the cat uh, that that many of the officers were a uh, uh, hold possession of the light boats exclusive to the passengers, but for, and forced them out of light boats due to their own safety and not the passengers' safety. However, the captain and all but the purser died in the sinking, so there was some type of hero heroism on board the the La Borgogna. But given to how many uh, to to how much time there was between the the collision and the actual sink in the in the end of the La Borgogna, there could have been time to save the passengers. However, it is unknown why the Cromarty Shire t did not take this action until after the sinking. However. It was later found there were foreign pa officers that were traveling in steerage aboard the La Borgogna. 
this was the main reason for the entire passenger brutality that took place on board the sinking La Borgania. However, it's very surprising that the that the Cormorantia survived, even though she had lost her bow in the in the, in the collision. However, it was known that that officers would use force if there was a panic on board, even if firearms were necessary. However, what happened on the La Borgania was way too brutality for the passengers. It still remains unclear what caused the actual collision itself. Was it the Cromarty Shire or was it the uh, La Borgania? It's unknown. But 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 uh, the La Borgania was sailing at full speed under heavy uh, under heavy fog conditions, where the Cromarty Shire was blowing her fog horn every minute. Maybe we will never know what really happened on that night. Cromarty Shire's uh, bow will be repaired, and then she will be scrapped. A few ye- uh, several years after the si- after the collision and sinking with the La Borgania. It is very tragic that no children survived the sinking of the La Borgania, and only one female survived. I hope that nothing like this would ever happen again. I hope I'm making this video to commem- uh, to honor those who died on July fourth, eighteen ninety eight, in the almost forgotten sinking of the SS. La Bergania.